Welcome back readers and thank you for joining us for another virtual story time. We are back to doing in-person story times on Thursdays and Fridays for the appropriate ages, but we are still offering these for those who don't feel comfortable or physically can't join us. So this summer we have been reading st stories that go along with our theme of Tales and Tales. And this week, we are reading stories about birds. So let's get started on today's story. How to make a bird. How do you make a bird? Well, we're going to learn. This was written by Meg McKinley and illustrated by Matt Otley. So let's get started. To make a bird, you will need a lot of very tiny bones. They will be smaller than you might imagine. Some so tiny, they are barely there and they will be hollow, these hundreds of bones, so light, that when they rest in your palm, you will hardly feel them. These are what will float on air. Take these bones and arrange them into a bird shape. Any bird shape will do. The proud arch of an eagle, the soft curve of a sparrow. Breathe deeply and take your time. The making of a bird is not a thing to be hurried. Next, you need feathers for warmth and for flight. Smooth these over the bones of your bird shape. Press them firmly into place. Save the longest feathers for the wings and the tail. These are what will lift your bird into the air. Now give your bird inside its brittle bones a heart that beats faster than any human heart. A sure, steady heart to carry it across oceans and continents all the way home at the end of a long winter. Then add the final touches, the way an artist adds her last few brush strokes, her tiny signature. Give your bird sharp eyes for hunting, a beak for building the nest, strong claws for gripping, a song to sing. And when you have made your bird with its bones and its feathers and its grasping claws, you might sit back, sit back and sigh. You might say to yourself, I have made this bird, this silent, still shape of a bird. But when you see it sitting, cold as a statue, you will know that there is more to a bird than these things you have given it.
so you will gather it into your hands and cast it gently upon the air. Those wings you so carefully made will stretch out just a little bit. And your bird will tremble as it fills inside its tiny racing heart with the dreams only a bird can dream. To op of open sky and soaring flight. And then your bird will catch your eye and you will know it is time to go and open the window, open it. Set your bird upon the sill and watch while it stretches its wings and looks around with its clear, sharp eyes. See it shiver as it leans forward into the air and then takes off in a strong, sudden movement, soaring straight up. Away and away, never once looking back until it is a disappearing speck in a vast blue sky. And you feel your slowly beating heart fill with a kind of sadness, a kind of happiness. For this is when you will know that you have really made a bird. Thank you for joining us for How to Make a Bird, written by Meg McKinley and illustrated by Matt Otterly, Otley. Sorry. Thank you for joining us. We hope to see you here in person or virtually on YouTube very soon.